Everywhere you turn and look here at Millfield, you see quality. We've just come from a cricket ground that you'd be happy to see anywhere in the, in the world that plays cricket. But here we are at a sports field which is named after probably um, the greatest rugby player ever to play the game, Sir Gareth Edwards, who was an old, what's it, Mill, an old Millfieldian. Old yeah. Millfieldian. And uh, it's immaculate. You could be playing cricket down there as well, Craig. It's just superb. Yeah, no, really pleased with it this year. Um, we've we've played um, football and rugby on it for two terms, um, and yeah, we've come really out of it really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's having a, a multi-purpose pitch like this. I mean, there, as there are downs. Obviously, there's a downside to playing both sports because they are different, and you get heavyweight scrums pushing turf up. But uh, how do you cope with all of that for and, and keep it as it is? Um, well, I, I guess because we're we're under 18s, we we aren't that heavy. Um, and it's not just the, the first team I play on here, we'll play like under 16s um, also. So, yeah, it, it doesn't take that much. The guys aren't, aren't, that, aren't that big, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess what we do is we, the first term, so from September through December, we play rugby. And then the second term, we, we'll flip between football, rugby, football, rugby, football, rugby, etc. Um, but this year, I don't know whether it was the, 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 the renovation that we, that we did. Um, whether it's a grass seed, whether it's a combination of everything, uh, fertiliser, regime, I don't know. It, it, but it's been spectacular this year, it really has. And it's right in the middle of the school ground, it isn't is, it? It's, yeah, actually, yeah. it's, it's quite, quite, quite something. And we've got, over in the background there, we've got uh, bright blue hockey pitch, water-based hockey pitch. Um, and you, you explained to me why it was blue. Uh, so our old director of sport, uh, Dave Faulkner, he was the director of hockey when England won the gold medal at the Olympics. So is that at Rio? Is it? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, they, 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 the women, they won yeah. it, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we, we needed a blue hockey pitch, so there we have, we have one. Yeah. Um, and on the back of that, we've got the indoor equestrian centre and the stables, um, etc. Yeah, we haven't mentioned about the horse side of things. What, what sort of work does that involve for you? I mean, it's, what, what have you got? Is it an indoor arena? Do you call them arenas? Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we have an indoor arena and an outdoor arena. Um, we have... Um, over at the prep school, we, we've got a, a BE course, so an, an eventing course, um, which I think is something like 30 or 40 acres. Um, here we have five paddocks, which kind of wrap around the top of the school where the horse will go out. Um, so yeah, it, it's quite involved. Um, so we do the arenas three times a week. Um, there's a whole, there's a, there's a team of grooms who look after the horses. Um, well, does the school have its own horses as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. The school has its own horses, and also if you're a pupil, you can bring your horse in on a livery. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it tends to be more show jumping now rather than eventing. Um, but I think historically it used to be eventing. And polo is a big thing with, with a number of our pupils. Um, so we used to have a polo ground ourselves. And we still do an annual polo event, um, but we we do the polo lessons, etc., off site now. Well, it's been lovely to have the opportunity to, to see what you have here, Craig. It's been, a, it's been an ambition of mine to, to get down here. Now that I've fulfilled that, it's great. It's been on the bucket list. So you've had a, we've had a great deal of your time. So thank you very much for that. And uh, I look forward to meeting you again sometime in the future. Oh, you're very welcome. Lovely having you. Okay, thank you. Thanks.